Good morning. Welcome this morning. So imagine that Jeff Bezos, the rich, I think he's the richest man on the planet. Imagine your phone rings and Jeff Bezos is on the phone and he, he's paying your airfare and he, he's offered to bring you to it. He wants to meet with you in his office and he's inviting you to come on over. What do you do? Let's look at Mark 3 verses 13 to 19 and see what happened when Jesus did something here with some people that he wanted to be with him. Here it is. And he went up on the mountain and called to him those he himself wanted, and they came to him. Then he appointed twelve, that they might be with him, that he might send them out to preach, and have power to heal sicknesses and to cast out demons. Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, to whom he gave the name Boanerges, that is, sons of thunder, Philip, Andrew, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon, the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him, and they went into a house. So Jesus goes up and he is uh, now appointing those that are going to be his apostles. So the question, the question here, Jesus, is he calling you? He was calling them to spend time with him. He wasn't calling them to a big seminar. He was calling them to spend time with him and to be part of his team. He wanted people to be ready and be part of his team to bless all people. What would you say? You know, if, if, if the richest man on the planet called you and said, I'm providing air care, airfare, I want you to come here, I've got something I want you to maybe work with me on, a lot of us might say, you know, this, this has promise. <laughs> I think I might want to go. Jesus, however, is a lot richer than the richest man on planet Earth, and he is calling you into communion with him to serve and to do good to others. Just as he called the disciples, you know, those disciples in the book of Mark, he's calling you, he's calling me, he's still calling, and he still has something he wants you to do. He has blessings he want to, wants to work in this earth through you and through me. When somebody important calls, they might think hard about going, and when it's Jesus, my advice to you, answer that call. Go ahead and answer it. So let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we want to thank you today for the fact that, you know, we, here we are, we're trouble, we're just trouble, we're, we're rotting apples in the bottom of the apple barrel, and yet, in spite of the bad things we've done, in spite of the fact that we've chosen rebellion against you at some point in our life, you are calling us, each one, you're calling us to goodness, you're calling us to be part of your mission, and so, Lord, help us when we recognize that you're calling us, help us to say yes, yes, please, Lord and to receive all the forgiving that you have and to receive all the empowering you have so that we can do your mission in this dark and troubled world. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers today and watching over us. Thank you that you're calling us to have a part in your work. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, there it is. I thought about what something God might have you and I to be doing. So he's got a plan. He's got a plan. I want, I want to respond to God's call to be with him and to figure out what he has for me there. He'll, he can show me. If you've already subscribed, that's fine. If you want to add something, an experience you've had, put it in the comments. I'd be glad to look at that. I want to look at it. God be with you today, and you have a wonderful day in Christ Jesus.